<laughs> okay, Google. How far is Monterey? You are 111 miles away from Monterey by car. Okay, Google. Take me there. Okay, Monterey. Here we go. So yeah, Google Maps basically takes that input and then starts to route you automatically to Monterey. So it gives you a little trip overview, sort of, you know, summary of what you're expecting and where you're headed. Yeah, and then typical stuff that you would see on the phone as well, it gives you arrival time, traffic information and whatnot. So another cool thing about this particular version of Google Maps that's optimized for the car is you'd see the battery at arrival. For instance, it gives you, after you've driven this long, this is what your battery status is gonna be. And this is based on, will, will, be, will be calculated based on your driving history and the way you, your driving patterns. So let's say we're a 36% and we want to add a charging station stop. Okay, Google, charging stations, please. So it's going to give you a list of uh, charging stations nearby. <laughs> so yeah, and then along the route as well. So you can sort of pick another one that you want. Let's just click on anyone. So it gives you more details and you know you can sort of call them or reserve a spot ahead of time and whatnot. So let's just go ahead and add a stop. So again it gives you a trip summary. You're stopping here before you're heading down to Monterey. Cool. So that's starts navigation. So yeah, while we're sort of zooming on on the other our driver display. So driver display is a digital uh, screen, as I mentioned earlier. It actually starts to mirror Google Maps and then the route guidance shows up there. Uh, so there's a few modes. I'm just gonna press this button here. So this is the calm mode, wherein it's a minimalistic view and it has lesser information if you don't want all that information overload. And then here's a car-centric mode. So based on the car sensors, it sort of shows you the status of where you are on the road. And then here's the maps mode, which you can uh, control from here. So is the um, is the cluster running Android, or is that just merely a projection from the uh, from the head unit? So the cluster is not running Android; it's a projection. So that's there's an RTOS, and the OEM actually controls what gets displayed okay. because you need to have safety critical approval yeah. for that. All right, so let's exit navigation and then go back to the home screen. So yeah, what's a road trip without music? So we have a bunch of uh, media apps here. So you see Spotify. And then we have Google Playbooks, Radio Line, iHeartRadio, and then I'm not sure, sure, NPR and YouTube Music. So let's go and then check out Spotify. So yeah, here's Spotify, you're landed on the home screen. You have uh, recommended content, popular playlists, and then there's recently played content. And you can browse by categories, genre of music that you like. And then here's your library of music. Let's ask Google play something. Okay, Google, play at last. Sure, at last by Etta James, playing on Spotify. So volume is too low. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Sorry, I said too many times. Okay, Google. Increase the volume. Sure. Yeah, you can have all of these controls focus on the road by just using your voice so you have big buttons here this is an outlink screen you see big buttons here for easily you know uh, controllable by a driver let's just pick anything else from the ui whatever you would like so not just via voice you can also have ui interaction and pick the song that you want let's take a look at uh, one other media app let's just playbooks so here are all the books that you've downloaded uh, in your account and you can continue listening where you left off um, yeah. so let's go back home so let's talk a little bit more about these top four icons at the top so this one is a camera icon so in the car when it launches it'll have 360 degree view right now it has just the rear view um, here you have the apps view basically all of the apps that you've downloaded plus some of the system apps will be available here And you're free to move things around so like I showed earlier you can customize your initial home screen based on what you want to use frequently and Then here 
is basically your user profile. So this is Jenny Roger is the person, is a profile, you know, fake profile that we created just now. But depending on who's driving, you could have your own profile and then uh, accounts associated with that. And then here you have all of the, this is your app or place for all the vehicle functions or vehicle settings. So you have charge status and then stuff that's, if you want to control around the car, like interior lighting and whatnot, and also vehicle functions such as regenerative braking and uh, you know all the cool stuff. Cool, so yeah, this, and then maybe lastly, we'll just touch upon the um, HVAC or the AC system here. So this is controllable using the slider and you can also control it using uh, the assistant.